Joe Day vibes. How are we feeling? Great. Great. Audrey? Audrey, how do you feel? Got oh. Chef, up. chef boy R. Andy. <laughs> Eggs are up inside. We're Not just talking. a drummer. Bon appetit. Got the towel. This guy's official. <laughs> Boys, how are we feeling? Hey, uh, actually, I'm scared. feeling very good today. Okay, Bob, tell us about it. Well, uh, we've done a lot of hiking in the last couple of days at uh, a lot of altitude, over 9,000 feet. Uh, yesterday, we were in bright sunshine as well, and it was quite warm. The heat is tough, but I feel very good this morning and uh, ready to go. How old are you, Bob? I am uh, <laughs> 76. 76. Still out here on the road. Yep. Maddie, how are you feeling? Pretty good. I just had my stress relief tea. Oh boy. So I think we could all use some of that. I'm starting off the day. Is that Colorado specialty? <laughs> I wish. Not that kind of special. Not that kind of tea. No, it's yeah. good tea. Did you end up finishing those now? Uh, Victoria, how are you feeling? Huh? There's four left. Oh, there's all oh, oh. Says it all right there. We're on one of our last shows, the tour. We are headed to Denver. We are currently at this house in Colorado. And we are now in, we're near Woodland. This is Flor, Florissant. Park. What? We're in Florissant, and it's near Woodland Park. Gotta be correcting me, you know? So, since this is a crazy dirt road and we have to travel up the mountain and our old girl here can't handle a lot of the weight, we're dropping the trailer and we're actually going to fill up the back of the RV with most of the equipment and hopefully make the ride a little bit easier and a little bit more manageable. So the pack up is officially done except for I just have my Helix and my guitars inside. Look at this. So normally this, this is a bunk where people could stay. I got my tripod. We got guitar cases, pillows. Jesse's Kiesel. Up front, we've got some road cases, my wireless and uh, Pete stuff. This will be the couch. There's Audrey's wheelchair. This is the view towards the back, kind of the, uh, the lounge where everybody hangs out. Here's where the magic is happening. <laughs> These bunks are just uh, totally stuffed with gear. Normally this is a uh, big bedroom back here, but obviously this is now stuffed with as much gear as we could fit. So kind of an interesting thing. We've never quite done this on the road yet, but um, this RV isn't exactly new and pristine. So it struggles when it's carrying the huge trailer full of all the gear. So, and I don't know if you've ever driven up and down the Rocky Mountains with a trailer. It's not fun, especially when you have so much weight and it struggles to pull it up. We don't have any trouble today. We could just drive up to the gig, play it, and then we're gonna bust our butts, get out of here, and then tomorrow we're leaving at 7 a.m. to head over to Crested Butte. So uh, it's gonna be a fun next 12 hours, and I'll try to take you guys along for the ride as much as I can, and um, we'll do a little bit of a walkthrough of the rig and what's going on on stage. Loading into the show, we already have adventures. Audrey's enjoying herself. You're a good girl. Good girl. Just my girl. Just my girl. Just my girl. Nothing like the second to the last gig breakdown. So neither of you have ever seen this before? Not on a floor tour. Uh -huh. Not like this. It happened to my drum bag. The sign to get a new drum set. How bizarre. Pearl Masters. Will that still fit in your case? Uh, you have to take it off and do it again tomorrow. Okay. It looks like one you'd buy in the store. It's not terrible. Again, I'm going to lean it up against the, the ride stand. How'd the drum kit fix go? It's, uh, we're gonna play and pray, and then we'll see what happens. But play and pray, got it. Play and pray. We've got a broken keyboard stand that we fixed before. We've got a broken floor tom, which we think they fixed. Broken soul. Broken soul. Uh, Pat's heads are falling off. 
Jess is having a grand old time. Bob, anything break on your end? Okay. This is my Shure QLX wireless. Been using this old tour with no issues. It's probably gonna live there next to Bob. Oh, and I'm gonna go grab my Helix and uh, start wiring mine and Jessica's guitars. All right, so that was syncing up my wireless. Um, I've got my Helix set up here on the wrong preset. That's for my Sweetwater preset still. So, what do we got going here? Um, this is effects loop one and three. Effects loop, send and return, one and three. So for the send, this is actually the send part and that's going to a DI box for elect Jess's electric guitar. So this green is a return and that return comes from here. So that's Jess's um, line six wireless and that connects to here and then the red goes to the DI. So green connects to the green and then red goes DI. Um, my XLR just goes here and I'm running that to my wireless. And here's my raggedy extra pick bag. My in-ears from 64. I just did my wireless sync. Then Jess's acoustic guitar is going through this wireless and that's just gonna get a DI box right here. So the guitars for this tour, my 79 limited edition custom. Um, I've got a video about the story of this one. Very rare guitar, very special to me. Um, sounds great, we use it towards the end of the set when the set gets a little bit more rocking. And uh, I'll show you the next one. Next up is this iconic, I always forget what he calls this, but it's vintage modern. It's a relic, um, you know, kind of Keith setup with the humbucker and grid. These are Lawler Imperial Low Wines, and it's a five-way switch. It's a pretty unique tally. This is probably my number one road guitar. If we're ever going to Europe or doing fly dates, this is the one that comes with me because of the uh, amount of tones that I can get out of it. And let's get to my sir. And here we have my custom-built sir which you've seen in a ton of my videos also probably. Um, this is my hybrid between a Les Paul Stratelli, Les Paul wood, maple top, mahogany back, three single coils like a Strat, but a Tele bridge pickup and a Tele body, uh, roasted maple neck. One of the best feeling guitars that you'll ever have. Stainless steel frets, no fret markers because the funny thing about this, there's no fret markers only because when I spec'd it, I didn't select fret markers. So it was kind of an accident that there's no fret markers on this, but I think it looks badass. Thanks for filming me. <laughs> no, you don't want that lighting.
to be able to see up there. Too high. This is the pre-show hang. Bobby with us? Mm -hmm. The boys enjoying a casual flavor ice. What did we get to eat? We got Grammys. Grammys goodies. Right Grammys. Grammys goodies in Denver, as per recommendation from who? This was a Guy Fieri thing? Guy Fieri. Diners. I always say their name wrong. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. It was pretty good. It was good. Pretty good Italian food. Audrey gets fed next. What did you guys have, Jess? We had my favorite thing that I found out here on tour. All right, just make it quick. Today, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> <laughs> True Food Kitchen. True Food Kitchen. Oh wait, actually it was, it wasn't called True Food Kitchen. Okay, not true. Okay, edit. Not true. It was uh, D's. D's. Oh, D's. <laughs> Got him. Got him. All right, we are about to head in. There's the uh, marquee. Me and Audrey hanging out. Um, Gonna watch a little bit of the opener and then we are gonna hit it. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Enjoy the show.